Hello photography fans and welcome back to another LensVid review. Today we're taking a look at a number of products made by YC Onion, including this really cool motorized slider. So stick around till the end to see us test this thing out and see how good it is. Today we're taking a look at a number of products by YC Onion, a young company with catchy product names and some very interesting gear for photographers and filmmakers, including RGB lights, sliders, brackets and other accessories. We've had a few of these products in the studio for some time now and in this video we'll discuss the hot dog slider with a bun motor, the energy tubes and their L bracket for Sony A7 Lion cameras. The hot dog slider comes in three sizes and ours is the smallest 60 centimeter version. In the carrying bag you get the slider, the motor, side supports, a belt, 3 8 to quarter inch adapter, mounting screws and hex keys. From the very first look, the slider impresses with its construction. The aluminum frame is sturdy and the rails are made of carbon fiber. It was nice to see a well thought out belt design with magnetic holders and reinforced aluminum supports. The bottom of the slider frame comes with a number of quarter inch and 3 8 mounting holes. There are more mounting holes on the sides to attach supports or other accessories. The legs can be folded down for transporting and come with round rubber feet that will help with grip or to stabilize the setup on different surfaces. The kit comes with a hard rubber grooved belt. This is a quick mounting design and it is pretty intuitive. Having to use a hex key to install it is probably the biggest design flaw here. In our opinion, this should have been some kind of a knob design, but in all fairness, it's probably not something that you will have to adjust that often. YC Onion offers support rods for the slider. These are telescoping rods with a clamp on one end and a quarter inch screw on the other. The build quality isn't amazing, but this is a simple accessory, so it doesn't really require much. They do make a big difference though in keeping the ends of the slider sturdy, especially with a heavier setup or at an incline. The motor on this slider is a compact design made of plastic. It easily attaches to the carriage with a couple of screws. It features a small screen that allows to use the slider without the app. On the motor enclosure, there are three control buttons and a clickable knob, a camera control port and an L-type battery plate. Alternatively, you can power the motor with a power bank through the USB-C port on the side of the motor. The bun motor is pretty powerful, it can move a payload of up to 14 kilos horizontally and up to 6.5 kilos vertically. Because it's a powerful motor, it does emit a whirring noise when it's operating. For situations where you need to eliminate this noise, you'll have to bring the operation speed down to 50%. It's kind of slow, but it's heading straight for the subscribe button. So should you, and hit that bell notification while you're at it. Setting up the slider is very simple. Attach the motor with the provided screws, run the belt through the motor's gears, then connect the magnetic ends to the bases and use the hex key to tighten the belt. When you power on the motor, you can hold down the A and B buttons to move from side to side. To set up the endpoints, press and hold the A button first to move the carriage to the left end position, then press the scroll knob to set that position. Press and hold the B button to move to the right end position and then set it by pressing the knob again. Once the stops are defined, the screen will display the operation mode once. By default, the motor will move to the opposite end point once and will stop there. If you want to loop that move between A and B, short press the power button and the screen will display cycle. To reset the A and B points, press and hold the knob until you see reset on the screen. When the motor is in operation, a short press on the knob will pause it. One of the most important features on this slider is this center rod that quickly changes the slider's operation by moving the camera in a panoramic motion or rotating the camera towards the center while the carriage travels along the slider. This is a great addition because it makes this hot dog slider versatile with a simple mechanical guiding rod. The implementation is well constructed with ball bearings that provide a nice fluid motion. The ends of the rod feature locking knobs to increase or decrease the motion. There are some distance markings on the sides of the slider. These can be useful if you need to return to a previous setup, but in our opinion these markings should have been placed on the top plate of the slider's frame where they are a lot easier to see. The app that controls the slider promises to make this piece of gear even more useful by integrating a gimbal to essentially create a motion control setup. While this is a great idea, we found that it still needs some work. The slider's build quality is really pleasing, but the app feels underdeveloped. 
It actually took a while to figure out what to do once we were in. You're greeted with a blank screen with very few options. It turns out that you need to add devices from a category list, but that option looks grayed out. Once you add your devices, things get more intuitive. You just tap on the slider and the gimbal that you want to use together and tap on interlink mode. Essentially, you go through the same setup process to define A and B points and let the motor run. In the same setup, you can also control gimbal movements. This is where the app needs some tweaking. The gimbal controls are very imprecise and the actual operation is sometimes laggy, so it's a little too soon to say that this can be used as a motion control tool. Hopefully YC Onion can fix these software issues in future upgrades. Even with the software limitations, the ability to pair up sliding motion with gimbal movements can make for some interesting shots. The center rod is also a way to add interesting parallax effect to product showcases. Our short slider is great for small to medium sized products. Setting up the slider with a macro lens lets you create some nice follow motion. With the long slider you can get some really nice panoramic shots for when you're shooting architecture or landscapes. And of course this is a great tool for interviews since the motor's looping function together with the center rod guide can continually keep the subject in the frame without an assistant. In all, this is an exciting product from YC Onion. It's still going to take some work, but the idea of integrating the slider with a gimbal is great and it shows a lot of promise. Hopefully they can add more gimbal options in the future and majorly update the app control. As for pricing, the 60cm hot dog slider with the bun motor sells for $420. Now let's look at these energy tubes. These are 27 cm RGB light tubes that come in an aluminum casing and feature interlocking end caps to quickly stack multiple tubes together for a greater light coverage. The design is pretty straightforward. The light features an on off switch, a small screen and two clickable dials for intensity and color control. The plastic diffuser on the front of the unit gives off a nice soft light. There are plastic bumpers on the ends that prevent the tube from rolling around. To mount the light, there are magnets and a quarter inch mounting hole on one end. The color temperature spectrum goes from 3200 Kelvin to 6200 Kelvin. There is also an HSI mode and an effects mode, but these have become pretty standard on most tube lights that we've worked with. One thing that stands out on this energy tube is the implementation of a removable battery that can be charged while in use. The energy tube can be controlled through the YC Onion app. After our experience with the slider controls in the app, we were pleasantly surprised how good the light controls are. Everything is very intuitive and works without major glitches. There are plenty of options like color matching and settings sharing. After using this energy tube and testing out the light quality, we have to say that this is a great device. It didn't impress us when we first unpacked it. There are a couple of cheap plastic parts that take away from the overall look and the interlocking ends make it difficult to stand this tube up like we're used to with other light tubes. On the other hand, it doesn't get very warm, it's pretty sturdy and the removable battery only makes it more versatile. These energy tubes are competitively priced at $89. The L bracket from YC Onion is a pretty beefy aluminum construction. It's adjustable so it can fit a number of Sony A7 line cameras. The design increases the grip of the camera and can be used as a side handle as well. The bracket is well designed and allows you to access all the ports and the camera battery compartment. It comes with a magnetic holder for the hex key that you use to adjust the width and attach the camera. There is also a branded flat key with a magnetic holder, a nice touch. The main feature of this half cage are the integrated Arca Swiss plates on both sides, allowing to quickly change the camera orientation. One thing that we would like to see on this bracket is a quick release system. Other than that, it's a sturdy, straightforward product that sells for under $70. And that is it for our look at these YC Onion products. Check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Hello, please. No, this, this, this side is big. Try to pull it straight. Just keep pulling it straight. <laughs> and that's it.